What's up guys, Melvin from HairTransplantNetwork.com. Today's video is about vertiporfin and a new human trial from an unlikely source. Let's get into it. For those of you who aren't aware of what vertiporfin is, let me give you a brief breakdown. Vertiporfin is a drug that has been FDA approved for the eyes and vision for quite a while. However, Dr. Longacre in Stanford was testing this for wound healing. The 2022 study showed that it not only healed the wound, but it prevented scarring. And not only did it prevent scarring, but it also regrew all of the hair and all of the dermal appendages. The study was conducted on mice, but also on pigs. The pig study was the most interesting one because pig skin closely resembles human skin. Dr. Barguthi did his first trial, I believe it's been two years now, in 2022, and the results were amazing. They were, they were very promising. He had another study that was recently published on the Hair Restoration Network where the results are somewhat lackluster. I've been very, very excited about vertiporfin. It's, it's something that's shaken the hair loss world because it's something that can be used in conjunction with the hair transplant procedure. And if it can regrow at least 25% of the donor hair, you can keep getting repeated procedures and ultimately cure your hair loss. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of me making videos about a new trial that's about to start and never happens. I'm tired of that too, but this time it's for real. It's the real deal. A member from the Hair Restoration Network just had a hair transplant with Dr. Ratchathorn of Thailand from Absolute Hair Clinic. He sourced vertiporfin himself. He tested it in a lab to make sure that it was legit. And he had the doctor inject the vertiporfin while he had a 4,000 graft hair transplant procedure. He had one milligram injected per square centimeter. For comparison, Dr. Barguthi used 0.4 milligrams per square centimeter in his first study. So I'm eager to see how the results are gonna turn out. I'm gonna be following this thread very closely. I'm also gonna include it in the description and is, I'm also gonna pin it in the comment section. So if you guys wanna check out his thread and follow it, the only caveat I will say is that it's not being done like an, like an official study. It's just patient who sourced it, got it done, and it's gonna be hard to tell whether or not it's working or not because you really need to mark those areas and, and, and you know, kind of do it in a scientific study. But there will be some photographic evidence and hopefully he can go back into the clinic and hopefully there's some, you know, um, scalp scan AI that we can use to, to determine whether or not those hair follicles regrew. It remains to be seen whether or not this is going to work, but I'm hopeful. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much all I have for you. If you guys like the video and you find the content enjoyable, please consider subscribing and like the video. It helps the video get into to the YouTube algorithm. All right, till next time.